all right everyone so in this assignment the first assignment we are going to understand how clo works and the structure that we need to understand to learn any kind of a 3d software so before uh, we go forward with learning let's first understand the four different stages of 3d learning so the four different stages are modeling finishing texturing and rendering in the modeling stage we take a basic shape and we convert that basic shape into our desired shape right so for example it can be you have taken a basic torso and you have converted that torso into a dress so that whole converting process <clears throat> is called modeling right in which we have we have to understand the concept of pattern making also and we can include a, a little bit more complexity into it but this is uh, in general this is what modeling is taking a basic shape and converting that basic shape into your desire, desired uh, shape now the second stage is called finishing uh, in the finishing stage we actually add materials or we add trims we add detailing in our uh, design so that it look realistic so for example if this is a bag so we have added the hook we have added the zippers and all these things so these uh, we have added the top stitch so all these things so when we add our garment look way much more realistic and this process is called finishing now in the third stage uh, we take our object and we give texture to that object so that stage is called texturing okay and finally there is stage is called rendering so in the rendering you create environments and your in environment interacts with the light so right now this uh, bag is not interacting with the light that's why it doesn't look that realistic now in this it's interacting with light right so so these are the four different stages of uh, learning of any when you build a 3d product now in clo we can do all these four processes but to get amazing results we do modeling and finishing in clo and texturing and rendering in other softwares like blender uh, like other uh, texture development softwares that we are going to use in this whole uh, series so uh, let's get started with clo now okay just keep this structure in your mind it will really help you uh, to go through the whole course so this is like if you open your clo uh, this is how it's going to look like now if anything happens wrong with your layout if it's not visible in this way if anything happens wrong in the bottom like there is a refresh icon in the bottom so just go and click hit on that refresh icon okay it's in the bottom bottom right hand side okay here uh, hit that refresh icon and things will go back to normal now before starting with clo we'll understand how uh, what's the structure of clo software right so what are all the tools what are all the tabs where to find what so we are going to first figure out the structure whenever you are going to learn any new 3d software so there are always there are going to be three major stages okay uh, for a beginner person so there is like first thing that you need to do is you need to figure out the layout where to find different tools and objects second stage is called navigation how do you navigate uh, in the in the uh, software right third stage is called how you add an object and how you edit that object so these are the simple three stages that every 3d software follows so you also need to follow the same so let's first understand the environment of clo 3d so what i'm going to do there is this arrow sign here right i'm just going to minimize this right i can minimize this and i can again minimize this so i'm minimizing all the things so that we have more space and we can see a layered in a way much more better way so in clo 3d you have a 2d window you have a 3d window now there are all the tools that are listed here will be used for the 2d window all the tools that are listed here will be used for the 3d beside that there are library history modular configurator object browser and property editor all these things are related to each other right and we'll see how uh, to use it and slowly slowly we are going to explore all the tools uh, in clo now so the first thing that we are going to do is uh, we are going to bring our file uh, let's bring one file and let's try to uh, do the navigation right so first environment is clear 2d pattern window 3d window tools 3d all the tools for the 2d object and these are the five different tabs library history modular configurator 
object browser and property editor. So now let's try to bring the file in. So if you go to the course directory, uh, if you open part one and if you open assignment 1.1, uh, th this is the basic torso file. So you just click on that basic torso file and download this file. Okay, so just uh, from the top, just download this file. Once you have downloaded this file, you need to open this file, okay? By default, Clo doesn't give you any um, any tor. So basically, they give you t-shirt files that is not much of use, right? So we want to explore darts. We want to explore different parts. So that's why I have created this basic torso file. Uh, that is great for any uh, person who is joining from fashion background or want to go there. Okay, so if you go to file, open and garment and you go to downloads and this is my uh, download file assignment 1.1 and open this so now you have this file okay so you have this basic torso file now with the basic torso file we are going to also explore library so let's go to library and let's go to avatar double click on this and double click on this and double click on this the first avatar that you see and okay so now you have the avatar, now you have the torso file also, okay? And what you can, so I'm just going to collapse this all again. So now what you can see is, you can see a 2D patterns here. You can see the 2D patterns reflected in the avatar. So now let's talk about the navigation. So there are three kinds of navigation that happens in Clo. So first is rotation in the 3D window. Second is panning. Panning is uh, like this is called panning. You hold the space and then zoom in and zoom out. I am using a mouse and uh, it's really hard to learn Clo without a mouse. So you need to have a mouse. So if you have a mouse, go to settings, user settings. And right now, if you go to user, in, uh, sorry, uh, you go to view controls, uh, then you have to click here, regular mouse. Okay, that uh, because all this, uh, all the, Settings that I'm going to tell you, right? Like this is how you do uh, panning, this is how you're going to do zooming. So all these settings are like this. So do a regular mouse here. That's how you're going to, your mouse is going to work the way it's working for me. So now let's see. The first thing is uh, rotation. So rotation happens with right mouse button. Not the left, but the right mouse button. So with right mouse button, hold it, right? And you can rotate things. Hold your right, right mouse button and you can rotate things. To pan things, hold your middle mouse button. So you have to click on the middle mouse button and keep keep pressing it and then move it, right? So this is how you do panning. And then zoom in and zoom out happens with the scroll. Because this is a 2D window, you can't rotate. So only the panning and zoom in and zoom out you can do. And all the pattern making work happens here. Perfect. So now, uh, this is the navigation part. Now the third part is how do you edit an object and how do you uh, uh, play around with Clo 3D software. So the first, let's explore the first tool, okay? So the first tool here is called simulation tool. So once you click on the simulation tool, this fabric is going to behave like a, like this whole mesh is going to behave like a fabric. So if you hold, like, if you hold this, if you move it, it will like, this will move right but if you play this like this whole thing is going to behave like a fabric so that's called simulation tool you can use the simulation tool also with the space bar don't keep this tool turned on always okay so whenever you want to use it turn it on and then turn it off when you don't want to use it so you can use space bar for this also so for space bar turn it on and space bar turn it off perfect now the first tool here is called a selection tool, right? In the selection tool, you can select different patterns. You can move those patterns, right? You can arrange in whatever the way you like it, all this thing. So this is a selection tool, right? You can select objects, you can move objects. I'm just doing a control Z or command Z just to move it back. Okay, now let's talk about the second tool. So the second tool is uh, called, let me do one thing. Let me move this uh, like this. Perfect. Okay. Now the second tool is called edit pattern, right? All the tools that have a small drop down here, uh, they have multiple options. Okay. So how to bring that multiple options? So if you long press your uh, left mouse button, 
right so you are going to see all these options so long press your left mouse button and you're going to see all these different options that are inside this particular uh, icon so you can see right wherever there is a drop down you can long press it and it's going to show different options so for the time being we are just going to work with edit pattern that's uh, that's it so in edit pattern with this tool you can select a point or you can select a line and then you can drag that line so for example i can select this line and i can drag it down i can hold it i can select this line i can drag it down and if i play the simulation with spacebar now you can see like our dress is a little longer right perfect now the next thing also i can do is i can uh, change uh, the point also right so i let let me change the neckline so i can just drag it down drag it a little more down you can see this blue line right so with this blue line you can just quickly change this perfect so if you play the simulation with spacebar now you can see right and whenever i play the simulation then i after like once i've used it i'm just going to close that simulation so you can see you can change the neckline also so this is how why we use edit tool so edit tool is used to change points or line perfect now let's use one more tool this tool is called a fullness tool okay so when we use this fullness tool uh, this is a very simple tool it add fullness to your garments right so what we are going to do we are going to select this uh, single click here single click in the bottom then select this side okay so select this side like take your mouse towards this side right and just move it up so again let's do it single click single click single click and single click single click by the way everything in Clo is very precise you can move it exactly the way you want so for example if i want to move it uh suppose oh sorry let's suppose i want to move it two inches right so i can just do that like i can just make sorry four inches let's move it by and you can do select the angle also so everything is very precise like but we are going to talk about it more when we do pattern making for the time being let's have fun okay so and the same way i'm just going to add fullness to this particular side also okay so now you can see right uh, like if i go to selection tool if i select this so now you can see that this pattern like this pattern is completely intersecting this pattern right and which is kind of not good so normally you should uh, move this space around it right so that it will become a little better so what we are going to do we are going to explore a new tool again before simulating it okay so don't simulate it just leave it like that now we are going to explore one more tool so the tool that we are going to use is called a gizmo right uh, let me change the gizmo to what it's going to be visible for you so not right now this whole scene the blue uh, red and green line that you see this is called a gizmo so you can select anything okay and if you rotate it this is going to rotate if you uh, like this circle is for the rotation okay uh, this circle is for this side rotation and uh, this red circle is for this side rotation so so this tool is used to rotate right now what you do is the problem with this particular tool is like uh, based on your viewing angle it is changing the x y and z directions okay so for example right now the red moves things here uh, but if you move it here the red is going to move things in the front so what we are going to do we are going to select our torso right we are going to go to the sides and we are just going to bring it out like this and we are also going to select this and we are going to bring it out and just uh, you can also directly click on any pattern and you can move it okay so you don't need to like just move it you can also do that okay so once this is like you have moved it away now you can play the simulation so now this looks good okay last thing let's arrange it a little bit more uh last thing we are going to do is we are going to select uh, like we are just going to arrange these patterns a little bit more in a better way so that like they looks good so with the selection tool i'm just moving all the patterns and i'm arranging all the patterns that's it good to go you can select all this and you can just move it side by side okay so now the our dress is ready 
So the last thing that we are going to add to our dress is a, a fabric, right? Like a texture or something like that. So you can, so now let's understand uh, like how op library, object browser and property editors, like these three things are used. So the library has all the asset file. So what is an asset? Assets are any 3D objects that you use. Right. So, for example, avatar is an asset, garments are an asset, fabric, hardware and trims like zippers, all these things are assets. The object browser have like whenever you bring any assets to the 3D window or 2D window, with that asset comes the objects. So, for example, if you bring a garment, so with garment, uh, you are going to get fabric as an object. Okay. And with avatar, you are going to get skin textures and all these things as an object, right? So all these things like with top stitch. So whenever you bring anything to your uh, design uh, with associated, all the object associated with that design also comes in the object browser. And now let's open property editor also. So whenever you select anything, so for example, if I select the default fabric, so you're going to see the default fabric properties. If I select the face of this avatar, you're going to see the properties of this so whichever object you click anywhere all its properties will be listed in the object uh, property editor so if, suppose if i click on this space now there is nothing here right so no, no object uh, no properties here so what we are going to do we are going to uh, click on the default fabric and then uh, in the property editor we are going to find this one property called texture and we are going to edit that property so let's try to figure out if I have some texture with me. Yes, so this is uh, this is a texture and I can open this up, right? So I have my basic dress designed. Now I can also do one thing, I can add more fabric. So in the top you can see add, so I can click on add and there is this one more fabric added, right? And I can again add new texture to this. So let's see if I can bring some other uh let's see okay maybe this one open right so maybe this is uh, this is a new fabric now how to apply this particular fabric to the patterns i want right because all my patterns are like given this default fabric so select the fabric and drag it towards uh, the pattern that you want it in v. select this and drag it select and hold your left mouse button and drag it and just put it here so now you have changed this also so this is how uh, you make a design right and this is how you make a dress this is very basic so we have understood how library object browser property editor is used we have understood how simulation is used again we have understood how to use the selection tool edit tool and the uh, fullness tool in the next upcoming assignments, we are going to understand a little bit more about modular configurator, how to do layering, draping and how to go through all that four different stages called modeling, finishing, uh, texturing and rendering. OK, so uh, guys, we'll catch up on the next assignment uh, till then uh, you have to also do this work, right? So create your own dress, uh, play around with the tools and submit your work. Great. Take care. Bye bye.